morning guys. So today Dakota and I have had kind of a lazy day just hanging out here on the couch. I've been watching Parks and Rec and kind of uh, getting a handle, I guess, on everyone's Christmas presents and planning out what I want to get them and buying a couple presents, which is really exciting. Um, Melissa and I are planning on doing most of our Christmas shopping on Black Friday. We did that last year and it was so nice and so easy. It's just like, it was so nice not having to worry about people's gifts all throughout December. And yeah, because previously we were pretty bad about it and would be, you know, shopping up until like Christmas Eve for people. And it was just always more stressful because I feel like we would just kind of go to like the mall and wander around until we found something. We were like, yeah, sure, this person would like that. And so like they weren't as good gifts, I feel like. And so I feel like doing it this way allows you also to like think more about what the person actually wants and then go out and seek it out. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, so yeah, that's what we're planning on doing this year. So I'm kind of making sure I have a plan for what I want to buy on Black Friday and yeah, have a plan basically. But, um... Yeah, so um, other than that, it's getting pretty late, and normally I wait to start the vlog until like I'm actually doing something for the day, you know what I mean? Something to like show you guys and talk about and share. But since I never really like got, I never really like did anything per se today, I just kind of never started the vlog, so it's a little late. Um, I am actually heating myself up some leftover pizza from last night for dinner because Melissa and I have. Uh, so plans tonight to run out and do a bit of shopping and run some errands. I believe we're going to Ikea and Target. I think those are the two biggies on our list. And um, I want to kind of eat something before we head out, so that's why I'm heating up some pizza. And I think Melissa's going to make herself some soup when she gets home because she had pizza for lunch and so she didn't really want the Bertucci's again for dinner. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm preheating the oven now to make myself some pizza. I am, again, watching Parks and Rec and gonna continue Christmas shopping. <laughs> but I do want to know from you guys, I'd love to hear what you guys are asking for Christmas. And I was thinking about sharing kind of like some of the things that are on my wish list this year. I don't know, I just, I love hearing like what other people want or are like gifting to other people. And I thought it'd be really fun. So like, let me know if you would be interested in hearing what I'm asking for, or I don't think I can share with you like what I got other people because obviously like people in my life watch these videos and so I don't want to give away anyone's Christmas present, but um, yeah, so that's kind of just the thought I had, like, it's a pretty vague thought, but yeah. Let me know what you think about that, and um, yeah, I'm going to get back to my Christmas shopping. Alright, so Melissa just got home, and she is in the bedroom opening up one of my Christmas presents, and I was told I'm not allowed in there, so I'm going to show you guys what she picked us up at Target on her lunch break today. <laughs> she got a couple sets of these adorable little fall themed gold napkin rings that we're gonna use for Thanksgiving and I am so, so excited. So they were all clearanced out. They were originally $3 and she got them for $2.10. We got- No going in my dresser. No going in her dresser. Okay, you realize you have an office with a door, right? I don't put the door I put your clothes away. Well, I'll go to tomorrow. Okay. Um, so what was I saying? I don't know, but these are cute. We're using them for Thanksgiving. They have like a little leaf pattern here. I'll take one out and show you guys for real. Like how stinking cute and perfect is that? There you go. There you can really see it. Like how adorable. I'm so excited. So we're gonna use white linen napkins and that's actually one of the things we're going to target for this evening to look for because we already have um, some of our napkins from Target. So we're just gonna basically go and look to see if they have the same exact ones to buy some more so we'd have enough for everyone. And um, yeah, but like literally, and they feel like actual metal too. $2 for four of these is like amazing in my book. So I'm really excited that she saw those. And I'm really excited. I can't wait to like see all everything come together for Thanksgiving and like our table set up and like, I don't know, I live for that stuff. I really like, you know, like having fancy dinners and like holidays and stuff and getting, you know, the table all set up and looking fancy and fun. And I can't, can't wait to see it all. I was thinking we could put our turkey together like Wednesday night. You don't think that's too late? Okay. Hmm. Uh, I won't be here. I might be having dinner with Dami and my family. We can do it Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, to do it Tuesday night. I'm also gonna be cleaning most of Monday and Tuesday, I believe. Do you want some of your mommy cereal? But yeah. So, like I said, why are you shaking, goofballs? I was leaving. Yeah, I know. You're a goofy, goofy goofball. I can breathe. Yeah? Yeah. Yay! She has been stuffy for the last, like... I got, like, a really how good... How long? At least Monday. 
It happened Saturday night. Saturday night, yeah. She's Saturday been like night, slightly like sick since then. Like, <laughs> like I, it, like I got a stuffy nose, like a cold, but I didn't get like sick. Yeah. But I've just had like the stuffy nose since Sunday morning. Do you guys see this? I don't know if it's gonna show up because she's so dark, but she is literally just sitting here shaking. You're a nutball. What are we gonna do with you, huh? What are we gonna do with you? Anyways, apparently my wife is eating a bowl of cereal for dinner. <laughs> then we are heading out to, where are we going first? Ikea. Ikea, and so the, uh, okay. <laughs> I love you. I'm not watching myself in the mirror. Oh, yeah, there's a mirror. There's a big, big mirror there. <laughs> Having fun? Yeah. Good. You guys, this is what I'm like, like 95% of the time. Pretty much. But like the camera's just not on. I'm being <laughs> shy. There's the, like the 1% every once in a while where I like, like not shy enough. Lines up perfectly. <laughs> yep, that's my wife. <laughs> I love this look. Just like a hoodie and jeans. Yeah. I don't know. Like it just like, I think it looks good. I think it looks good too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but so we're going to Ikea because she wants to look at something for me, correct? So we're, no? I need to look at something, you're not allowed to come with me. I need to look at something and I'm not allowed to come with her is the official rule. And, um, you want to get some Christmas stuff? Yeah, so last time we were at Ikea, we saw a whole bunch of really, really cute Christmas decorations that were all, like, super, super cheap. And so we were holding off because it was still, like, mid-October when we saw that, which is way, way, way too early. So, Yeah. Um, although I'm pretty sure we ended up buying Christmas decor in October, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but anyways, um, there were a couple things I wanted to go back and pick up. There's also a couple of, like, baking things that they had there, like cute little chocolate molds that were, like, a dollar, and, like, some cookie stamps that were also a dollar. So, yeah, that's where we're headed. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You ready? Yeah. Go. I've got a something, something for you. <laughs> Grumpy ass people at Ikea. <laughs> Please so, put that in the vlog and bleep it out. <laughs> so we bought a chair. <laughs> <laughs> and we literally took, you know, you tell them. Tell them what? Oh my god, yeah. So we bought it because it's actually a chair that like we legit wanted. Like I was, we were walking around and I was saying, we walked past the chair section. I was like, that's literally my ideal chair in this color. I want it so bad for the living room. And then we walked down to the as-is section. It's sitting like right there in front. And we we're like, oh, and it was $100 off. So it's ours. And I've literally wanted this chair. We have to take no it joke, apart. for years. I'm getting to that Sorry. part. <laughs> Cookies are good. Yeah, they are really good. Melissa got some ginger snaps. Is that what they are? We're going to go that way. Yeah. <laughs> you kill me. Um, yeah, so... We get it, it's in the as is section, which obviously means it's put together. So we get out to the car, we're in Melissa's Jetta, and then we're like, all right, I mean, we've fit some pretty darn big things in her cars over the year. We got like a big bookcase in her two car, two door car before. What are you doing? I think I'm in a turn lane and I don't wanna be. All right. What am I gonna do with you? Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so we get out to the car. It does not fit just in the trunk like nicely and on its own So we have to stand there at like the little Ikea loading dock station like taking apart the chair And it turns out it's way more complicated taking apart Ikea furniture than it is putting it together We could not get like the wings of the chair off and so we're standing there like for a good like 20 minutes kind of like wailing yeah. things and like Yeah, I figured it out. Melissa dropping it on the uh, dirty asphalt road yeah, there was another couple walking by. <laughs> oh, damn it. There was another couple walking by, and um, right as I dropped one of the pieces, I went, oops, and the guy looked at me and goes, <laughs> Solidarity. I was like, yep, <laughs> I'm in trouble. But yeah, I am so excited about this chair. Obviously, we'll show you guys when we get home, and we'll show you guys we got a couple other Christmas things, which I'm really excited about. Ikea's Christmas stuff is like super, super crazy cheap, so if you're looking for... Christmas super, decor. Super crazy. Not it's, just super crazy. Super, super. It crazy. is super, super crazy cheap. Okay. Sass pot. Anyways, if you're looking for inexpensive Christmas decor, highly would recommend checking out IKEA stuff because it's pretty cute and very inexpensive. But we are on our way to Target now, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. 
All right, we are back home. We went to Target and spent way too long shopping at Target, then rushed out of the store so that we could make it Chick-fil-A before it closed because someone was craving the fries. And so we got, each of us I think got the eight piece nugget meal with fries. Uh, I got strips. Oh, you got strips? Okay, she got strips. I, I also got the, I told you which fries were yours. Yours is the one that has them all eaten. I didn't eat any. You ate one, I saw you. I ate one. Alright. I also got the yummy yummy fresh squeezed lemonade. Thank you. And so we're gonna eat this. Apparently watch Harry Potter and we finish it. We started it. I know. I wanna finish um American Horror Story. I'll watch it later. I'll watch it later, she says. <laughs> and I will show you guys what we got at IKEA and Target after we eat. Okay, so it's a bit later and we are just about to get into the third and final task of the Triwizard Tournament. So I thought I would take now as an opportunity to show you guys what we got tonight. So, huh? Fourth. Fourth? Dragon's Bath. Bath wasn't a task. Uh, right. Dragon's, <laughs> Dragon's Pond. Pond. Maze. Well, there's four. No, there's only three. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so... Da, da, da. First thing first is a big thing. We got a new chair. Isn't it so cute? I'm so excited. I love it. A little dirty. Yeah, so the only thing is obviously it was in the as is department and there are a couple small stains on it. You can see like there and there. They're really not crazy noticeable in person, but I mean obviously they are there. I think there's also some like on the arm there. We're not quite sure exactly what it is, but obviously we're going to try and clean it. So if you guys have any tips or suggestions for cleaning fabric, let me know in the comments below. I would super appreciate it. But yeah, so that's our new chair going in the living room and I'm really excited about it. It's like super comfy. And just like really nice. I really wanted like a wing backed chair that had like, you know, a nice big back that you could just sit in and lean back. And yeah, I'm really excited. And I think it's so cute. I love the color because um, obviously my first pick was like, I like immediately go to gray, but our couch is gray. So we couldn't get like a gray chair. I don't know. I just didn't want something that matchy matchy. So yeah, I'm really excited with this. I think it's going to look so cute up there. All right. So... Let's get into the rest of Ikea. All right, so we, not, we, we got another big blue Ikea bag because we seem to pick another one of those up every time we go, but they are super useful and they're only a dollar, so like we don't really mind. But um, yeah, I bought that, obviously. And then I also got um, another like dust pan and broom little thingy because I wanted one kind of like for the garage and basement and like, you know, maybe like grosser tasks, I guess. So I like we didn't get the one that we use like, you know, in the kitchen super dirty. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah, this was like $1.79, so I just snatched that up. Melissa also got the tin of the ginger snap cookies like you guys saw in the car. You want one? They're really, really good, guys. How many? I want the tin. She wants the tin. But they're really good. I normally don't love ginger snap cookies, but they're, they're, they're really good. All right, so... One of the main reasons I went there was to get their, like, um, I guess cookie and just Christmas dessert things. So I got these adorable little cookie stamps, and I hope you're going to be able to see them. They're little, like, woodland creatures, and then there's a snowflake that um, you roll your know, sugar dough out, and you can stamp the cookies. And it actually, like, they're not, they're more than, like, you know, cookie cutters, because they actually have little designs in them, so I'm really excited to use that. I want to make um, some, like, holiday cookies and stuff and put them in little like gift boxes to hand out to our neighbors so I will definitely be using these for that as well as these tiny little chocolate molds and I don't think you're going to be able to see them um there's one two three sheets in here and it's for you know they're like little molds for melted chocolate and there's some like uh flowers hearts uh butterflies and stars on the front one so not like exclusively Christmassy but then on the back it has some more of those little like woodland creatures and then I'm not sure what's on the middle one. Oh, it looks like even more animals is on is on the middle one. So yeah, that's really exciting. And then all right, let's see. So I got this guy which is a candle holder. It's a cute little white snowflake that I think will be really cute to put on display. I also got this little like serving plate tray thing. I'm not sure you're gonna see the pattern in the camera or not, but it's like kind of, um, I don't even know what to call this. It's kind of like a herringbone knit pattern, I guess, on the um, 
bottom of the tray and it's a nice gray color so yeah I really wanted this and I think we're gonna use it for you know like serving Christmas cookies or something like that if we ever have guests over or just for like decorative display I haven't decided yet we also got this cute little scented candle and it doesn't really say the scent but I'm assuming it's something like hot chocolate and syrup because of the picture that's on the top of it so yeah I don't really know but honestly I pretty much just bought it for the jar that it's in because it's just a cute little white I'm not sure if you can see that but there's like a little snowflake kind of um, not engraved the opposite of engraved on the outside of the jar and I thought again really cute for decor around the house for the holidays and then this was one of the main things that I wanted to go back for. This I had seen uh, a couple, like, you know, a month or two ago. Like, I guess only a month ago. What I was telling you about earlier, and that's this little, like, metal snowflake display thing that comes with, like, little fairy lights behind it. So it has it shown in, like, uh, set up in a circle, but you can also just have it kind of, you know, in a, not straight line, but kind of, you know, semi-straight line so it stands up. And I think what I'm going to do with this is put it along the top of our mantle, is what my initial thoughts were. So, yeah, I'm really excited to get that all set up. Then we got a set of um, tins because, um, I don't know, the way when I grew up, my mom always made Christmas cookies and they were always stored in these cute little tins. And I don't have any tins. I'm pretty sure she got hers from, like, you know, actually buying the cookies and then just reusing the tins. But... They don't sell stuff in tins anymore except, um, well, it's ginger snaps, and so, yeah, but I wanted to get just a cute set of tins to kind of store Christmas cookies in each year. <laughs> and so, um, these are actually a set of three, yeah. So this is what Melissa's little tin looks like, so we will most likely be keeping that. It has cute little, like, um, drawn-on buildings all, you know, decorated for Christmas and stuff on it, and it's pretty darn cute. I hope you can see that. But then, um, this, what, you're done, take it away? And then this is a little set of three. I'll probably take them out and on, in some other vlog and show you guys specifically, but um, it is this big rectangular one, a smaller square one, and then the tiniest one is a round one. So excited to make some yummy Christmas cookies to store in there. I know. <laughs> I know, and I'm so excited you can actually eat what I make now because you can eat gluten again. Really excited about that. All right, and then we got some decorative um, gold Christmas ornaments that I'm kind of, you know, put in various things around the house to decorate, like that little sleigh that we got at Target the other week, and, um, I don't know, yeah, just basically for decorating around the house. And that is it for Ikea. Oh, actually, that's not it for Ikea. We got one more thing. <laughs> Melissa wanted to get this rug, or not rug, um, like entryway mat for the front porch and it has these cute little like geometric drawn on Christmas trees so we're going to put that out front as soon as probably the day after Thanksgiving when we decorate everything for Christmas. And then at Target we actually resisted ourselves and didn't buy a single home related item which took considerable resistance from us. We just, we love Target so it's really hard not to buy everything, everything in sight pretty much. But we did, we both needed some clothes like pants specifically and so that was kind of what we went there for and then we realized later after we left that there were other things that we needed to get while we were there but we had completely forgotten another one face wipes i needed to get more face wipes and we completely forgot that too um all right so i think I'm trying to find i think this is all mine this is mine. All right, I'm just going to pull things out and show you guys because I don't think it's really organized in the bag. All right, so I needed a new pair of jeans, and I really wanted ones with, um, like, skinny legs because I don't have any, and so I really wanted some that can fit nicely inside boots because I have some boots that I like to wear in the winter, and you can't wear them with the, like, more boot-cut jeans, which is what I normally own, and all of my jeans are, anyways are, like, way too tight, and they just aren't comfortable, which is why I wear leggings all the time. So I wanted to try and buy a new pair of jeans, and yeah, so those are the ones I bought. <laughs> and then, let's see, okay, yeah, so these are Melissa's. She got herself a nice pair of black, like, khaki-type pants. That, those are not black. Yeah, they are. They're navy. They're navy, apparently. Okay, she bought herself some navy khaki-leg pants that look like that, that totally look black to me. What do you smell? Huh? 
That's kind of rough. I'm surprised you're standing on it. Like, it kind of hurts my hand. The, like, mat thing. Or her feet or her shoes. I mean. Yeah, I guess you have little protective paws. All right, so, yeah. Melissa got those pairs of pants. And then I think these are, yeah, these are Melissa's jeans. She also got a dark pair of jeans. Sorry, it's hard to show, like, clothes and pants on the camera. stuck on the mat. She can't get off. You stuck on the mat. It's okay. Come on. Okay, you got it. Well, she got over there. Come on. Go get mom. Go get mom. You got it. Good girl. There you go. <laughs> we have a crazy dog. <laughs> All right. My one fun purchase at Target was these. I'm so excited. They're like sweater pants, <laughs> if that makes any sense. They're kind of like leggings, but they're like knit, like a sweater. And they're in this adorable little Christmas pattern that I am like dying over stuff that looks like this this year. I'm like absolutely obsessed with like kind of just typical Christmas sweater pattern stuff. I don't know. I just think it's so cute. And these are like super comfy. So these are going to be like my total December Christmassy lounge pants. And I am so in love with them. <laughs> All right. I also got myself another pair of leggings because I only have one pair of leggings that are actually like full leg length, if that makes any sense. And so especially now that it's winter, I want to have more than one pair of leggings because if these get dirty, like I want to be able to have leggings like that I can wear out of the house, if that makes sense. So yeah, I got these. These are a little different because they're like kind of shiny, which I thought was funny, but I don't know. I like them. And the last thing I got, oh, actually I got some undies because I needed some like basic color, you know, beige, white, and black undies and they were on clearance. So I picked those up. And then <laughs> I got myself another shirt. This was also on clearance and I am like in desperate need. I don't have like any long sleeve shirts in my wardrobe. That's like the thing I had the least of. That and pants because I just, I hate shopping for pants. Like with a passion, I hate shopping for pants. So I had to force her to buy pants. Tonight. She really did. She had to like force me to try them on and buy them. And like, yeah, I just, I hate it. I don't know why I just, it's just, I don't like it but I love shopping for shirts, so, but I do need long sleeve shirts, and so I found this one on clearance. It was, it's adorable. It, like, has this funny little, like, neck thing. I'm trying, I don't know if I'm going to show you because it's black, so it's going to be kind of hard to see, but it has kind of, like, a keyhole cut out in the front with this little, like, piece that goes, like, across your neck. I don't even know. I'll have to, like, try it on for you guys tomorrow. I might do that so you guys can actually see, like, what I got and what it looks like, but yeah, and then I'm obsessed with the sleeves because they kind of, you know, come together at the wrist with this cute little button, and again, I'll show you what it looks like on tomorrow. I just don't have the time since we're watching a movie tonight, but that finishes up everything we got at Target, so we are going to finish up this Tri-Wizard tournament and get to the most depressing parts of the movies. Yeah. <laughs> Do you actually just, I mean, wait, you want to end it because it's almost over and it's pretty much 12. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, do you want to come over and end it with me? Yeah, you make me come over there. She doesn't want to get up off the couch. You don't have to. <laughs> yeah, end it from back there. It's okay. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe down below to follow along with all of our daily vlogs. Tomorrow, I believe, we are finally replacing the cabinet under the sink, so we will have a full kitchen of cabinets again, which is super exciting, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next daily vlog. Good night. Good night.